Hey everybody, welcome back to The Gardening Artist, Reba here. So, it is Sunday, we've got sunshine! It's been a couple days since we've had sunshine, so I'm super excited about this. I'm gonna do a little bit of gardening today, fill some pots with some soil, um, fill up some of my seed trays, get some seeds started in the little greenhouses. I was looking at starts at the store today and I was like, no, use your seeds. So I didn't buy any seeds and I didn't buy any plants while I was at the store. So I'm going to get some seeds started in those, um, the little trays that I have and I'm going to get those filled up with soil. So that's the kind of gardening I'm going to do today. And then I also want to weed these here. And if I have time, I might go over to the Dollar Tree and pick up some of those drain racks that go for your sink area to put underneath these uh, by my front door. So I think that'll look really nice and get those all situated, get the soil all prepped and done up with those as well. And that way everything looks super nice. And then I can finish filling out these blue containers so I can grow some uh, greens and that sort of thing, some lettuces and good stuff like that, maybe some small kales, all that good stuff. So that is my pro thought process for today and getting that done. And then also I wanted to let you guys know that I now have a peel box and so I am going to um, use that with my Etsy shop. So if you see something that you like from my garden and I have it listed for sale in my Etsy shop, you guys can now purchase those directly from me um, through Etsy. I don't have anything listed right now, but when I do have any, when I do have plants listed on Etsy or cuttings on Etsy, I'll let you guys know that I have them up there. So there's certain plants that can't be shipped to certain states. So keep that in mind when purchasing from me. And also I don't ship um, overseas. So only here in the United States that I'll be doing the shipping to. However, if you're interested in if any of my patterns that I have or any of my digital type um, products in my Etsy shop, I those can go anywhere in the world. So you can take a look at those. Well, I got a new pot for our tree that we call Lebby. I still need to tease the roots a little bit, see how everything's looking in the root department. And then I need a, you know, repot Lebby, but I got this really nice container at Walmart and it's plastic but it'll do and I think it looks really nice and I also figure it will work for Christmas time you guys so it looks pretty I can add a bow around it I won't have to add wrapping paper to the container to jazz it up or anything so I think this will be the new home for Lebby that's what we're calling it it's not a Lebanon cedar but we're calling it Lebby <laughs> because that's what we were calling it for so long. So that's what we're calling it. Anyways, I think it looks really pretty. And I'm gonna get that situated probably today too. And then that way it'll all be, you know, done up. So it's a, a little bit higher right now with soil. So I might just need to take a little bit of soil off the bottom of the pot and then it's thicker around the container. So, there's actually more room in this container with the way I was growing it than what I actually thought. So there's actually more room for the roots, a wider base for the roots, which is really nice. So I think it's gonna look so cute. Now we just have to see if they have anything smaller that matches this one so that I can maybe pop this one into, say, something similar. I think that would look really pretty. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to get to gardening, get some other things done, but I wanted to show you this really quick so that you could see how pretty it looks, and I really like it. Meanwhile, down here, this little thing. What are you doing? You eating grass? Is it yummy? Better believe that's going to come up later. <laughs> You're so cute. A little bit of willow time. Hi, precious. 
Well, you guys, I went through my seeds. My friend gave me this really awesome container to organize all my seeds with because I didn't have anything like this before. And so now I have all of my seeds individually put into sections. So I got tomatoes, lettuce, kale, what have you. Items that are like like items, kind of, you know, brassicas with brassicas, so on and so forth. So I was trying to use up some of my older seeds. And this year, my friend and I are planning on having a yard sale slash plant sale just to kind of start using up some of the seeds that we have on our stashes and that sort of thing. So I actually picked out some seeds here from my stash. Seeds that are on the older side that need to get um, sown to just to see if maybe they'll sprout or whatnot. So I've got a stack of peppers here, a stack of tomatoes. These are arugulas and mustard and lettuces. And there were some sunflowers in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant these sunflowers. I might pick some more sunflowers. I've got some collards and some uh, cabbages and some other things that I've opened up before. Some more kale um, and that sort of thing. And then I have like uh, bok choy, some that I've opened already, some older varieties that I have in here that are like, you know, not really something that you would want to grow in our climate right now, but people do grow them successfully. I just have not been able to grow them successfully. So I'm going to go ahead and try again this spring. And if the plants actually put out seed and bolt, I'm going to let them bolt and then I'm going to collect the seed from them and then try to grow them again in the fall. So we'll see what happens there. And then I have some things like um, this here, which is like a uh, spinach of some sort, um, Olympia hybrid. Um, this one I've already opened before. And then I've got um, some shiso. And some auric, or I don't know how to pronounce it, but yeah. Anyways, some strawberry spinach from MI Gardener, some Egyptian spinach I thought would be really fun to try as well. And this one I've opened up before, and then it's like Taste of Italy. It is a, I, I had to fold it to fit it into the little compartments, but it's like a big old head of like spinach of some sort. So I'm going to go ahead and grow that. And then I've got arugula and stuff. I think I might have mentioned that already. So arugula is here, some from seed that I collected. So I'm going to be using up a bunch of these and getting a bunch of these started. And I may go ahead and start some of them in like a giant flat and like just sprinkle the seeds on the top and water them in and then separate them into other containers later. So I'm going to get these going. I've got them set here. I think I'm going to put them into like a shoebox now just to kind of have them organized in a shoebox that I'm going to use. These ones are going to go back into storage because I've pretty much picked what I'm going to use out of them. I might go back in for later on in the season for growing um, the brassicas and such because I'm only going to plant a couple of these. I'm going to put the rest of them back away because I'm not going to plant all of these. These are just for my own experiment in my own backyard. So I'm going to see how they do. I already know collards and kales do really good in our climate. If they go, if they bolt, they bolt. Um, I'm okay with that because I've got all kinds of uh, collard green mixed with, um, I want to say red Brussels sprouts that I had grown a couple of years ago. And now I've got like a, a hybrid mix of both. I haven't been successful with the growing um, the uh, Brussels sprouts yet. And so that might just be a fertilizing issue and or a uh, growing person problem because, yeah, um, yeah, sometimes I've got issues when it comes to some things. But uh, anyway, so this is what I've decided on. Um, I'll come back through, maybe individually show you in another video, each one individually, what I'm thinking. Um, I do want to plant all these seeds so that I have varieties of seeds to choose from again some of these are pretty old we're going back to like 2015 possibly 2012 even maybe on some of these seeds so some of them are relatively old some of them are newer uh, I just these are things that I like to eat so I figured you know what or things I want to try 
So I'm going to get these started. There's some tea varieties that I want to get started as well. And then I had that other box of, um, or bag of seeds that I've already shown earlier in this year that are seeds that need to be sown as well. So I need to get those, all those trees and such planted. I think I'm going to plant those in one gallon container pots and then whatever grows, grows and whatever doesn't, doesn't. And then I can separate trees and such at a later date because some of them I don't think they're going to grow. I don't think they're viable anymore because some of them are really small seeds. Well, anyways, I'm going to go and I have to run to the Dollar Tree really quick while it's still daylight. I want to get some thing. I'm going to go get those drain mats for the kitchen and get those situated in the garden for those uh, containers with my berries. I came out here to the greenhouse to check on things to see if anything's happening. So this was the container that I had in my greenhouse out here that I'm not going to mess with. See all those yellow things on the ground? Well, those are the yellow skins from the sun gold that I had growing in here last year. Well, I just let them be after the season was over. And a week or so ago, I came in here and I removed the old stalks. I think next year I'll just trim the stalks back so there's less, you know, debris and chances for mold to grow and that sort of thing. And I'm liking the gardening right in place business where you just leave the things alone and let them overwinter. Well, things come up on their own. But look at that, you guys. There's life down there. I don't know if these are tomato seeds or not. But there is some green down there. And there's another one right over here. It's a lot bigger. So I think these might be baby seedlings coming up. So, I'm super excited, you guys. I'm glad I did not buy the Sun Gold Cherry Tomato Plant that I saw today. Because these ones are growing on their own. And since they're already in the greenhouse, and this is where it's going to stay the entire time, I'm thinking this is a great win-win for me. I don't have to start these seeds, but I'm going to start some other tomatoes. So, these ones are for my own garden here. I really love the Sun Gold. They taste so yummy. So I'm excited about this. Let's see. We've got some figs um, right here, you guys. We've got some figs. Well, fig trees. Look at it. It's waking up from the winter. Looking beautiful. I like that a lot. And then my all my herbs and things are looking good. This is my horseradish. Or is this horseradish? Wait a second. horseradish. So I got that going there. And then I moved this in here because I thought I killed all the pomegranates. But I think this one here is alive. Sure enough, it's budding up, you guys. I did not kill it. These other ones might be dead. We'll have to wait and see. See if anything comes off from them. So pray. Cross my fingers, you guys, that all the pomegranates didn't all die. But we do have one that's surviving. That is good. It, I believe, is one of the cold hardy ones. Um, this is my, uh, persimmon tree. This is the coffee cake one. This one came, the roots had been trimmed and the tops of my, both persimmon trees and my, um, this, this peach here, the frost peach, all of them came with their leaders cut and the root systems had been cut quite a bit too so I trimmed the roots just a little bit more so I could fit them into one gallon pots for now and um, might go up one more pot while we're here possibly we'll have to wait and see um, but I trimmed up the roots and then I'm praying and hoping for the best um, but they are actually starting to butt up so I'm hopeful that everything will work out okay. I'm really sad that they trimmed them back so much. They're about maybe two and a half, almost three feet in height for, um, but only about two and a half feet in height from the grafting points. So that's kind of a bummer, you guys, but not quite three feet. They're just somewhere in between two and three feet. 
So every single one of them, including the peach and the two um, uh, persimmon trees. So I've got coffee cake and I got Izu or Izu. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, these are the only varieties that they had available. There was a couple other varieties that I was really wanting, but they're always sold out. So I just got these two. They should be good enough. And I'm going to be doing some more gardening this week. Um, this right here, you guys, I've got seedlings from California. I got some fruit from Alameda street where my grandmother lived and, uh, I picked up these, uh, loquats down there and they've put on some new growth. The lighter leaves are the new growth. And then this is my, I'm wanting to say gold nugget loquat that I got from one green world. Love that. That is a variety that's generally sold out as well, but I got lucky this time. I got that loquat, so I've got some seedlings, and I got that one there. Let's see what's happening on the other side, you guys. Ooh, you guys, look it. My flowering quince is flowering. How beautiful is that? Gorgeous. I'll have to come back out here and get some photographs. I've got... My valerian here is looking really good. Ma'am, no. No, 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 no. She's in here eating my rose bushes. No, ma'am. So actually, that's not a rose bush. That is actually my hardy kiwi. And she's being a stinker by chewing it. Out, 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 Missy. Let's see what else is growing in here. Anything else good? I've got um, St. John's work coming up. That's nice. And all the other herbs are going to start um, coming up more soon. This is my sweet Palestine uh, citrus. The soil around it is so bad; it air it dries out so quickly. So it, this actually was a this is problematic for me. I'm gonna have to hopefully get some new um, like soil on the roots of it and uh, repot it. And I think it might be on its way out the door. I think it's probably dying or dead because it lost so many of its leaves and it lost just so much. You guys, uh, the top part's still dying. I trimmed it back the other day to some of the best parts. It's, it's super sad. Oh, look at this. This is kind of cool. I don't know. I, this is the first time these are blossoms forming on my rosemary. I finally have a rosemary big enough to actually make blossoms. How cool is that? See if I can zoom in for you. There's a cobweb there too. Look at that. I think that's flowers. Or is it, or is it, um, or are they little spiders? <laughs> okay, I squished. They're, they're flower buds. Oh, let me move that. I was like, are they spider eggs? Anyways how it's looking hopefully they're not spiders <laughs> anyways let me know you guys if I just touched a bunch of spiders anyways that's rosemary everything's looking beautiful oh man look at those flowering quinces more blossoms this year every year I have outside the last couple years I've missed the blossoms because it was outside and then it frosted and killed all the blossoms so I didn't get to see blossoms so this year I've got more blossoms on it and I get to enjoy them so I love it yay Alrighty, I'm going to head on out of here. I didn't get to all the gardening that I was going to do today, but I did get the black uh, drain racks from Dollar Tree so that I can um, fix up the pots out front. So I may go ahead and do a little bit of weeding tomorrow and then get some plants start going tomorrow or seed some plants and get them started. So anyways... Get your plant started, you guys. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. You guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for coming along with me today. And um, I'll show you more later this week on all the other things I'm going to get done. All right. Bye, y'all. Uh, love what you grow. Grow what you love. And God bless. Bye. Goodness gracious, Willow.